2018, Tony Touch, I'm focusing on just like developing different brands. You know, Funk Box NYC is one brand. It's, it's deep house music. I'm a house head. I love house music. Been following it since Chicago days. 80, 86, 85 is when I first started collecting, you know, music from Chicago and stuff like that. So I'm a big house head. So Funk Box NYC is like the house brand. Toka Tuesdays is a radio show and it's also a party. And both the Funk Box and the Toka Tuesday party have been running 10 years consistently weekly in New York City. It's the only, it's the longest running party. Other than maybe Roots, which is Louis Vegas party that goes every Wednesday. They've been like 13, 14 years, you know, but we, we're coming up on 10 years. Um, so I'm pretty proud of that. You know what I mean? As far as music and putting music out, you know, when I catch the vibe and stuff like that, I'm not really big on just trying to put music out right now. It's just a weird place for that. I do have an artist. Her name is Sony. Sony with an eye. We just dropped her album on 420 of this year. And, you know, her album is, is, a, is an eclectic sound of like hip hop and rock and, 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 and some, you know, just some live instrumentation album that I did. And Questlove got involved, did some drums for me. And um, we feature artists like Mob Deep and, you know, Raekwon, of course. And, you know, it's, it's a cool album, Sony with the Night. Name of the album is called Rebel. So I just put that out. I did some of the production, but also got outside production. So between the, that and the parties and the world tours and, you know, and, 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 and merchandising as well, psh, I, I'm good. I stay busy. The drive, for me, the drive comes from, I have children, so that's the first and foremost. I, I feel like I got to work, you know, twice as hard, not just for me, but for my family. You know, if it was just me alone in the world, I had no kids, I don't know if I'd be as inspired or motivated to really push the envelope and push, you know, forward. If I had to narrow it down to three keys to my success, one would be um, my spirituality, you know, staying humble, focused, keeping God first. No matter what you do in life, you keep God first, you stay humble, you keep that spiritual, you know, connected, you know, stay, try to stay connected to the universe, meditate, just be in your realm, you know, that's the first thing. Second thing is my, my work ethic, my, you know, my work ethic is crazy, like I put out mad product, like my content is crazy, you know, so you got to have work ethic, you got to have God in your life. And the third thing is you got to, um, you know, always, always, never settle, you know, don't get comfortable, don't think that once you made it that's it you know because you know what's harder to get to the top is like to stay up there you got to stay on it you know you got to stay consistent so don't take nothing for granted get too comfortable once you know you think things are moving a certain way